Hi, in this video, we will configure a domain controller using Windows 2019. So this is my virtual machine. I have given 4 GB RAM, two processors, 160 GB hard disk. We will attach 2019 image. So this is my evaluation ISO for 2019. And let's start. So let's first install the operating system. So I'll select everything as default. One can select depending on the time zone and country all those options now i'll select windows 2019 evaluation desktop experience uh, the difference between those two is this one and this one. These are command line, these have command line interface or the core version, and those two are full version. So we don't need data center edition, standard edition is okay. I'll go for custom install. I'll select the entire disk. If you want, you can create multiple partitions over here, but it's okay right now. I'll use the entire 60 GB disk as C drive. And the installation has started. It will take some time. Let's fast forward the video. So the OS is installed. Let's set the administrator password. I'll now install VMware tools which contains the drivers for network card, display card, etc. In general, it will improve the performance of my virtual machine. Okay, so VMware tools are installed. Now we will change the host name of the server and we will also set a static IP address because for any domain controller it is very much necessary to have a static IP address. So test happened DC happened one that's 
the name of my domain controller. This is my IP address and uh, I've kept the server's IP address as DNS server because uh, as part of Active Directory, uh, a DNS server also will be installed on this domain controller. So it will, it itself will act as a domain controller and DNS server both. So let's restart it once more. Okay, so before we start with domain controller configuration, one final thing I'll do is I'll disable the firewall. So this is this is to be done just to avoid any kind of issue bit issue with communication between domain controller and other domain servers. Besides this, in production environment, there are many other settings that are done like installation of antivirus and basic security settings, which is in general called as OS hardening, but this is just a test setup. So we won't go for a, any of that. So let's begin with domain controller configuration. So I'll open server manager. Okay, it will take some time to analyze the local server for what all is installed and what is in, what all is not installed. Okay, done. Let's start. I'll go to manage, add roles and features, installation type, role based installation. Next. I'll select the local server. You can select some remote server and install the feature remotely. But we don't have any other server right now, so we'll install it locally. So here we will select Active Directory Domain Services. Select Add Features, whatever are the dependencies. Next, next. We don't have to worry about Azure Active Directory because it's the local directory we are configuring. And install. Okay, the installation succeeded. Now let's configure the Active Directory. I'll go to Active Directory, ADDS role, select more, and select the option promote server to domain controller. So now there are three options, add domain controller to existing domain, add domain controller to existing forest and add a new forest. Now here we will be creating a new 
domain on new forest entirely so we will select add a new forest if you have you already have if you already have a domain uh, do existing domain and you want to add this particular server as a do additional domain controller in existing domain then you can select this option or this option and then mention the credentials or the domain domain name and the enterprise admin or domain admin credentials to add this particular domain uh, domain sorry add this particular server as a domain controller to existing domain or a forest so here we will be creating new forest now we will give a, we will be giving a name so example dot local that is the name i'll give basically we can give any particular name it's it doesn't matter what name we give it's just that uh, it should be in the format as first name dot last name so we can give so this is also okay we can give any any particular name so for example a b c dot x y z so this is also a valid domain name so, but in practical implementation generally dot com dot local dot or some other domains like dot in etc domains are used So we'll start the domain installation. Now you will specify DSRM password. DSRM password is basically directory service recovery mode. If for any reason, if your domain controller crashes and you want to go in domain recovery mode, then you need this password. So as I said earlier, as part of Active Directory domain controller, uh, sorry, domain domain naming service or DNS also will be installed. Now here are different different available domain function level and forest function levels. So depending on existing setup, you can set and set up if you if you already have an existing domain and if you want to add this particular as an additional domain controller you don't need to worry about this because it will automatically take the existing forest and domain functional level so because this is test setup let's go with windows 2016 So we don't create any DNS delegation as we are going to install the new DNS server as we don't have any existing DNS infrastructure. So Example that's the NetBias name for my domain. So uh, basically, the NetBias name is the name before the dot that we give. So in this case, example dot local is the domain. So NetBias name it has taken by default as example. We can specify some other name here as well. But let's go with default. Now those are the folders, those are very very important folders.
SQL and backslash Windows backslash NTDS is a folder where the NTDS.dat file or the Active Directory database sits and syswall and NTDS folders where the group policy templates are located. Generally in practical or uh, production implementation, all those folders are configured on some other folder other than the operating system or the system drive that is C drive. But in this case, we don't have any other drive. So let's go with default. Otherwise, this can be set in some other drive like D colon, E colon, etc. Okay, so prerequisites checks are passed successfully. There are a few warnings, but that's okay. Okay, so domain controller has configured. Now it is going to restart. So that's it. Our domain controller is installed. So I'm logging in as the enterprise admin or the domain admin. If I run dsa.msc I can see the users, groups, computers and other components that are there in Active Directory so this is my domain example.com so right now there are no computers in it I go to domain controller this is my first domain controller that we have installed as, as I go on adding new domain controllers they will get listed over here any computers or normal servers that i put into domain they will by default list over here all the users this is the default place for user user cn and for built-in we have the built-in groups like domain admin administrators etc so that's it thanks for watching the video